and this year is shining for Jesus and this theme is based on the scripture found in the Bible in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16 and I'm going to read that and it says let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven let your light so shine before men before men before women before children before all mankind so that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven tonight I want to share with you three things just three things that I pray you will remember today you will remember in this season and you will remember all the days of your life so I'm just going to say three things and all three things are found in this verse Matthew 5 16 let your light so shine before let's say everyone okay let's put it instead of man women children let's put it this way let your light so shine before everyone so that they will see your good works they won't say thank you to you they will say thank you to God okay so we're going to pick three things from this scripture tonight and this is my prayer that you will remember it today you will remember it through this season and through the new year too number one let your light shine number one let your light shine I want you to look at your neighbor and say let your light shine you tell her let your light not somebody else's light <laughs> not anybody else's light but your light your light now you know that if your light has to shine you need to have light <laughs> your light cannot shine if you don't have light and so number one let your light shine so some may wonder tonight where do you get your light from? Where do I get my light? The question is from where do we get our light? Jesus said in John chapter 8 and verse 12 I am the light of the world Amen. Hallelujah Amen. John 8 12 Jesus said I am the light of not a community not certain people he did not say I am the light of Christians he said I am the light of the world so you may come from different nations speaking different languages you look different but Jesus says he's, he is the light of the world Amen. he's the light of the whole world Amen. So he said in John 8 12 I am the light of the world he who follows me now let us put that he aside and say everyone who follows him it's he it's she it's them so let's put it everyone who follows him Jesus said will not walk in darkness but have the light of life so this light is not some light that we can compare that we have with us which is physical in nature but this light is such a light that it gives life Amen. so Jesus offered us his light his life that gives us life amen so these are the words of Jesus we read in John 8 12 this means when we have Jesus we have the light in other words without Jesus we don't have the light and apart from light there is darkness wherever there is absence of light there is darkness 
And when we don't have Jesus, we don't have the light. Whoever does not have Jesus does not have the lights. So number one, if you have light inside of you, then Jesus says that light needs to shine. What's the point if you had plenty of, plenty of bulbs and pass of light at home and not a single bulb would, 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 be, would burn or, or shine? It would be of no use. And so tonight, let us remind ourselves of the words of Jesus. He has asked us to shine. He has not asked us to hide our light and keep it somewhere under a bushel. But he wants our light to shine. You know where can a light shine the most? When it is elevated. It is at a high position it can shine. And so Jesus offers his light himself so that his light in us will shine. So number one, let your light shine. You need to check whether your light is shining. Number two, we find it in that same verse in Matthew 5.16, which is the theme. Second, good works before men. It says, let your light so shine before men. Jesus has not called us to shine our light somewhere in the dungeon. Somewhere in the basement, in the hiding, just... No, He has called us to shine our light before men, so that men may see our good works. So number two, our light needs to be shown or shining before men. How? By the good works. Number two, good works before mankind. Now how will we do good works? This is interesting. I'll tell you something tonight, a secret. We can only do good works if we have the light in us. You're right. We cannot do any good works till we have the light in us. And so number one, Jesus offered the light and, and wants that light to shine through us. When that light is in us, we will do good works. Now what are these good works? These good works are not the works that we think. Because the Bible says the best of our works are like filthy rags in the sight of God. So what are these good works? The good works are those works which God wants us to do. Amen. You know, I was so touched by, by all, all the presentations, the choreography, the the snippets, the skits, all put together. I was so blessed. There's a message in all that we saw and heard tonight. But the most powerful is love. The most powerful is love. And so when this light that shines in us is displayed by the good works, love is put in action. Love in words is useless without it getting into action. And so Jesus is calling us, his people, and he's saying that our good works need to be seen before men. Because works which are even called good apart from Christ are not good enough. So tonight, on this Christmas night, not only are we called to shine our light, He says, shine your light. Your light. Your light. Your Jesus. Is He your Jesus? Is He your Jesus? Does He belong to you? He said, I'm the light of the world. So shine your Jesus. Not your name. Not your family name. Shine your Jesus. Let your Jesus shine. Let your light. And Jesus has become yours. Let Jesus, your light, shine. Amen. Second, let others see the good works that you are called to do. James chapter 2 and verse 20, 21 says, 
But do you, do you not know, O foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Abraham just did not listen to God and said, Okay, it's fine, I believe. Abraham put his faith into action works. And God was pleased. You see, when we do the works of God, God is pleased. Men will see the good works. Amen. 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 So keep doing the good works this Christmas, this season. What are the good works? Can somebody tell me one good work this season? At least this Christmas season. Okay, one good work. Pardon? Sharing the good news, sharing the gospel. Let us get more precise. No, no, you were right sharing. Sharing the good news, sharing the gospel. Let's get more precise. Sharing Jesus. Amen. You can only share what you have. You can't share what you don't. You have Jesus. It's this season to share Jesus. So that this season, you know, if you keep sharing Jesus, I'll tell you a secret tonight. This season will never end. Keep sharing Jesus. Don't wait for Christmas. Begin now if you have not and keep sharing Jesus. This season will never ever end in your life. What will happen? Others will see, number one, your light. Number two, they will see the good works. A good God who has put you to work will result in good works. And number three, as I close tonight. Number three. Go back to the theme. Let your light so shine. So let your light shine before men. So that they will see the good works, amen. Whose good works? Your neighbors, dad, mom. Your good works, your light, your good works before men. So, what is the net result? Third, they will glorify your Father in heaven. Wow, amen, amen. Number one, shine your light. Number two, do good works. Go share the gospel, share Jesus. You're afraid? You're afraid to share Jesus? You're selfish? Selfish? You speak, speak, no problem. You're not afraid? You're not selfish? Then nothing should stop you. You feel if you share Jesus, he'll, he'll get finished and you won't have Jesus? What's stopping you? Shining for Jesus. We need to ask ourselves a question tonight. How am I shining for Jesus? You know, sometimes we want to shine for our organization. We want to shine. We want to be the best employee award. We want to have the highest incentive. Highest, highest, highest. It's good. It's not bad. There's nothing wrong in it. But the question tonight as we sit at a Christmas service is, well, how am I shining for Jesus? What have I done for Jesus in the last, I don't know how many years, how long? Third, glorify His name. A third, I put glory to God. Amen? Now Luke 2.14 was the message from heaven. Luke chapter 2 and verse 14 is, let me say it like this way. Message from heaven to earth. Okay, there is a revelation. Glory to God in the highest. Peace and goodwill to all men on earth. From where did this message come? It came from heaven. Amen. Who brought this message? The angels brought this message. Okay, listen to this very carefully. From heaven, a message came down to earth. While the shepherds were taking care of their flocks, there was a message they heard from heaven. It was not their message. It was heaven's message. Who brought the message? The angels brought the message. 
the angels of God brings bring messages amen and so we see this is the message glory to God in the highest peace and goodwill to all men on earth okay you're okay with this sometimes we are only stuck with that now listen to this now it is glory from earth to heaven Matthew 5 16 let your light so shine before men that all may see your good works and from here from here give glory to your father in heaven you know something god re revealed and released his glorious presence and he sent his glorious presence through jesus now jesus living in us is the light of the world because jesus lives in us we will do the works of jesus the bible says jesus Jesus, when he lived here went about doing good things Amen. he didn't do any bad thing the dirty devil always has been doing bad things he's still doing bad things but Jesus did good things now just imagine that Jesus living inside of you and me will help us to do good things yeah. hallelujah, hallelujah. so of mankind everybody will see the good and they will send glory from here to heaven you know heaven sent glory down so that we will send glory back that is restoration of relationship when heaven sent glory there was no relationship when you received Jesus your relationship was restored now you have the light inside you so that you will not be quiet you will not be selfish you will not be afraid you will stand up and talk about the one whom you love you just won't look for christmas trees and cakes and deco and the music you will say it's about every day christmas is every day because jesus is alive and he lives in me he is the prince of peace and he has called me to go and share the good news to shine my light so that my jesus will shine now glory from earth to heaven we read in matthew 5 16 that men on earth will experience your good works and not elevate you there's a danger in us being elevated you know what is the danger in us being elevated we'll tell people yes worship us worship me praise me speak good about me speak highly about me no 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 jesus said let your light so shine before men so that they will see your good works and they will glorify pardon no be specific he said your father you know what jesus is saying i love you so much i love you so much that I am willing to make my father your father. You know, you broke your relationship with my father right from the Garden of Eden because your first father, Adam, sinned. But I am come down, my father has sent me down so that if you believe in me, I will make my father your father. Matthew 5:16. He said, let your light so shine before men so that they will see the good works I have taught you to do through your life so that they will glorify your Father. Your Father. Your God. Your Maker. Your Creator. They will glorify your... Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego's God was glorified Amen. by a heathen king he says there is no god like the god of Amen. 
Daniel, like the God of Shadrach, like the God of Meshach, like the God. Hey, you know something? That's what people should talk about us. There's no God like your God. But for that, we need to shine our light and keep doing good works. Jesus said, your father, Jesus, the light of the world tonight offers to be the light in your life so that everyone would see that light that enables us to work for him, to bless others and give glory to our father in heaven. As I close, I'm sure there's a question some may have tonight. How do I get this light? Thank you so much. I liked it, but how do I get this light? Jesus is the answer. Because he said, I am the light of the world. Is there something that can stop me from receiving the light? Oh, yes. (laughs) And that's one word called S-I-N, sin. It can stop me from and keep me away from the light, from receiving the light. Sin does something. According to Romans 3.23, all mankind has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So what is glory? God's presence, heaven's presence. All mankind has sinned. So sin is a barrier. What is the result of sin? Death. What is death? Total absence of light. Eternal darkness. But thanks to God, the Father who sent Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't be surprised because you said I'm celebrating Christmas. That's the birthday of Jesus. Well, Father God sent Jesus. Amen. The one who was without sin. Jesus is not born from below. He is born from above without sin. One, Timothy 1.15 says, Christ came into the world to save sinners, which means those who did not have the light. Jesus came so that his light will shine Amen. in and through them. Amen. Is there a way out? Sure, there is a way out. And the way, the name of that way is Jesus. Because he said, I am the only way, the truth and the life. No man can come to the Father but by me. The gift of God. Romans 6.23, the gift of God is eternal life. You know who is eternal life? Jesus is eternal life. If you have Jesus, you have eternal life. If you have Jesus, you have hope that you will live forever. That's the message of Christmas. It's not about the sweet meats and the cakes and so on and so forth. Even if they are there, they will not last for long. But Jesus lives forever. When you give Jesus to somebody, Jesus in them will make them live forever. That's the greatest gift you can give somebody on Christmas in this season. Amen. And tonight, if you may be wondering, I want this light. Today is your opportunity. Today is your opportunity. If you have never received Jesus in your life as your Lord, as your Savior, tonight, that opportunity is available. I believe that a Christmas service would never be a Christmas service, never be a fulfilled Christmas service without sharing the gospel. Because our focus, our attention should not be elsewhere, but on the real thing. Whatsoever is good, whatsoever is trustworthy, whatsoever, you focus on that. So tonight, We heard that all mankind has sinned, fallen short of the glory of God. Because of sin came death. But God sent Jesus so that we will have eternal life. And his light inside us will help us do his good works. 
And so others will glorify our Father in heaven.